Get protected today at shieldmutual.com. Hi, and welcome to this week's Shield Mutual updates. Shield Mutual, what's it all about? Shield Mutual is a business that protects you from aggression, whether it be government or private aggression, using public relations, using the force of, the force of truth. So uh, that may not sound like much. Uh, we are a defense agency, the first defense agency, the first private defense agency in the agorist or libertarian community. But we don't use guns. We don't have armed patrols. So you may be wondering, well, what's that good for? And I have to say, uh, you may be surprised. <clears throat> we helped uh, someone who was stranded by the TSA. Uh, we got them uh, news coverage for their uh, more than they really wanted, actually. And uh, we got uh, her a ticket home. Um, let's see, for a couple, there was a young couple whose baby was taken by Child Protective Services. We helped them get that baby back. A young mother who was put into a mental hospital, we helped her get out and we helped her get back on her feet uh, once she was out. Um, and uh, even last month, we helped Adam Kokesh beat uh, federal felony charges in an unprecedented um, release from federal prison. So, um, you know, it, we take it for granted that speaking the truth is powerful, so much so that saying it is almost a cliche. But uh, you might be surprised at how powerful it is when an individual steps up to defend an another individual and speaks the truth forcefully, without fear, without any kind of um, putting molasses on it, but just saying it straight out, and in a, in a savvy way, using digital communications, websites, press releases, um, call floods, you name it. Uh, this is incredibly powerful. And that's what Shield Mutual does. We put leadership, we put unabashed advocacy to work for you at the moment when you are in the greatest difficulty. Um, so anyway, uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our vision. Shield Mutual has a vision, and uh, I'll read you just a little bit from our vision page at shieldmutual.com slash vision. Shield Mutual has a vision for an orderly and nonviolent transition from statism to polycentric libertarian societies. By hiring Shield Mutual for your protection needs, you are directly contributing to the power of a block of individual whose influence can be recognized and accepted by state functionaries and the public at large. When enough of us are noticeably, noticeably covered by Shield Mutual's protection services, by the wearing of a t-shirt, badge, pin, hat, or by the carrying of an identification card, and when we have collectively voiced our opposition to their aggressive ways enough times and with enough vehemence, then the bureaucrats, cops, prosecutors, judges, and politicians will want to reach an accommodation with us. We will make ourselves more trouble than we are worth to them through the savvy use of media, protests, communications, flooding, communications flooding, fundraising, lawyers, and more. Through the power of solidarity and collective bargaining, we will reign in this state and allow freedom to reign in its place. And that's not just it. It's a, it's a service. It's a very valuable service, and it's only $50 per year, less than the cost of a Starbucks latte per month. Um, that's uh, throwaway money for a lot of people. Not everybody I know. Um, and this is for a good cause, and um, this is a proven service. This is a proven service that has been in operation under the Shield Mutual name for two years and in operation since 2009 um, when I was doing it uh, just kind of independently. But it's not just a service. It also has a long-term um, plan for a series of deliverables that will accrue to our cause out of Shield Mutual's profits. As we grow, you benefit. For example, here's our deliverable. When we have 40 customers, and we're pretty close to that right now, uh, we will initiate a project to support jury nullification, jury independence outreach efforts, 
with multimedia, fresh pamphlets, how-to guides, mainstream media coverage, and more. When we reach 100, we will produce weekly multimedia educational content on agorism and personal liberation for members only. When we have 400, we'll release a free ebook called Radical Personal Liberation, a how to. When we reach 1,000, we will offer micro loans for agorist startups uh, that will be awarded by an expert panel of Shield Mutual customers. When we reach 5,000 customers, we will do a 25-city North American seminar circuit teaching the nuts and bolts of dual power, counter-economics, agorism, and other related evolutionary topics. The purpose is to build a foundation of conscious agorist pr practitioners who can go out and multiply their numbers by a factor of 10 in the short term. And here's my favorite, at 50,000, We'll initiate a pilot program to evolve an entire small nation to a stateless society. So, um, and we would like your ideas. This is speculative, very speculative, obviously. So go to shieldmutual.com slash vision, and um, you can click through to a form and, sh and share your ideas as to what should be on our schedule of deliverables. And you can join at shieldmutual.com slash join just $50 per year. We accept Bitcoin, Litecoin, Shire Silver, of course, Visa, MasterCard, Express Discover, PayPal, and there you go. Uh, for anybody who's wondering what um, agorism is, I'll just read you a little bit from the Agorism Wikipedia page. Agorism is a libertarian social philosophy that advocates the goal of the bringing about of a society in which all relations between people are voluntary exchanges by means of counter-economics. Uh, it was first proposed by libertarian philosopher Samuel Edward Conkin III in 1975. Basically, uh, agorists are anarchists or libertarians who would like to bring about a, um, a stateless society, a libertarian society, by the use of direct action and dual power, specifically through trade. So basically, we're going to trade with each other outside the government sphere right on up until we develop a power base, a counter economy, an economy outside the state sphere that is powerful enough to provide the services we need to uh, defend ourselves from government attacks and, in fact, contain the government. Shield Mutual is a part of this economy. We're an, an important part of this economy, economy because we're the first defense agency. We're the only ones doing this. Um, and uh, you know what? We need your support. If you would like to bring about a more just, prosperous, and peaceful society, you should be supporting us. It's that simple. Okay, so moving along... Yes, one of the things, um, you know, what we really need to be working on um, is not just getting ourselves ideologically correct, but also building businesses. We need to uh, communicate better. We need to all be more well-known to each other. But the building block for all of that is self-actualization, to become better people, to um, initiate, to sustain and to bring to its um, conclusion, although it doesn't have really a conclusion, our own internal processes of self-development. And, and, you know, Shield Mutual is now evolving in our, uh, s now coming up to our third uh, official year of operating under the Shield Mutual name. We're moving from a wait and watch posture to a more proactive posture where we're going to be publishing a lot of content on how, and a lot of uh, training and whatnot, operating training on, on some more self-actualization. Because, um, you know, there are, all of us have things that we can improve, improve on, and we need to help each other in that, myself included. Okay, let's see. So uh, let's get to some news. Um, fast cash for Bitcoins. Fast Cash 4, the number 4, Bitcoins.com. Now, this is a business that I like a lot. I've done business with them. What they do is they, you give them their, your Bitcoin and they give you uh, fiat currency. Now, none of us like to be using the man's uh, Federal Reserve notes, but the fact is that um, 
a lot of stuff is only payable in that. I mean, you can't use your Bitcoin to pay your electric bill. The supermarket here doesn't take my Bitcoin yet, doesn't even take gold or silver. So I have to use the man's fiat currency. Um, but I still want to do business in Bitcoin as much as possible because that's part of my agorist practice. Well, I, I really like this business. I thought they were extremely well run, a lot of integrity. Uh, you know, at some businesses... They, they don't really treat you really, really well. They don't, they don't have that much integrity. But these people, they always executed the transactions like this. And when I emailed them, the owner even emailed me back. Uh, and they had many different options for how to uh, pay, pay you out, pay you your fiat currency. However, the um, Commonwealth of Virginia shut them down at the end of last month because uh, they want them to p get some kind of license. I, I don't know. Shield Mutual, I thought it was just a tragedy. But, you know, I'm going to bring this back to Shield Mutual because Shield Mutual now offers an organizational protection option for $200 a year. We will provide protection service to your organization, your um, corporate entity, if you will. Uh, not to the individuals. The individuals in the organization would have to... Um, you know, get their own protection, hire, uh, you know, contract that apart, uh, separately. But for example, this is a great case for when an organization is under attack by um, the government or wh whoever might be attacking them. Where Shield Mutual, if they had hired us, we could be getting them quite a bit of publicity and putting a lot of pressure on the bureaucrats in the state of Virginia to back off and let them continue doing business. Now, you may be skeptical as to whether this works or not. I I'm not because I've seen it work. The people inside government are human beings just like us, susceptible to pressure. The law, as it's written, sometimes is clear. But as it's implemented, uh, it's not objectively implemented. Mm, bureaucrats, politicians, they make exceptions and loopholes all the time. It's a power game. And we have to get savvy to that and deploy our power peacefully, nonviolently, but forcefully, uh, for our own benefit. Otherwise, we're just whiners who are sitting back and complaining and not doing anything. And I don't think anybody wants to be like that. Um, so that, that's, um, you know, that's, you know, if you have an organization that you think, uh, you know, you'd like to have it protected, um, we do it really reasonably. Let's see. Uh, Mark Schmitter, who is a gentleman in Florida who is engaged in uh, handing out jury independence pamphlets outside of um, federal courthouses in the Florida area, he, uh, which is something that I've done, um, and I was actually once uh, framed by U.S. Marshals in Allentown when I was uh, videotaping some friends doing that. So, um, you know, I, I identify with Mark a lot. Mark was just recently released from prison specifically for handing out these pamphlets. He spent 104 days in there for this, for just handing out pamphlets in front of a courthouse that a judge didn't like. And um, I, I like Mark. Mark has a Facebook page. Some folks set it up for him at facebook.com slash we are Mark Schmitter. And Schmitter is spelled S-C-H-M-I-D-T-E-R. Facebook.com slash we are Mark Schmitter. Mark is a courageous individual, and I, I, I like I, I like, just like what he does. And I think it is a terrible crime that he spent 104 days in prison, and he just didn't have a lot of publicity around, around that. Um, that's the worst part of it, when you go to prison and nobody knows. I think that's the worst thing. And it may sound self-serving for me to say that. I didn't help Mark. But I have to say that uh, for two years before I started Shield Mutual, I helped people uh, for free. Um, and uh, I had a lot of success. I know that I played a useful role there. But the fact is I can't do that because uh, I have a family to support. I need to eat. I need to drink clean water. I need to have a house. I need to have a microphone and a computer. Um, so, And I'm not asking a lot. So, yeah. But, but I tell you what, when people do come to me, and they're already in trouble, it's too late to buy the insurance, and they, they ask for help, um, I haven't turned anyone away yet, and I hope that I won't, that I won't have to. Um, 
So get covered today. But I like this quote that Mark said uh, as he came out of prison after 104 days. He said, justice requires constant publicity and liberty requires constant vigilance. Justice requires constant publicity. And that, that's what Shield Mutual does. That's exactly what we do. Uh, there's an interesting article at fee.org, F-E-E.org, from Thomas K., who's a, an animator um, from Europe that I really liked. I'll have it in the show notes. Um, and basically says that agorism has a tech triumvirate that we can use to advance our goals, which consists of Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is, for those of you who don't know, is a digital currency, a peer-to-peer -peer currency. Uh, it's not backed by gold or anything, but it does draw value from the fact that um, it cannot be stopped by governments. It is not taxed. I mean, I'm sure they would like to tax it, but they can't tax it unless you voluntarily declare it to them. Um, it is anonymous, but not untraceable. There are, at this time, um, no transaction fees on the main network for paying people. You can pay people instantly anywhere around the globe. There are no chargebacks, unlike uh, PayPal and credit card providers. And so this is really quite powerful um, as, as a tool for developing commerce. It's really a bedrock principle or bedrock tool for agorism. And the next one is something he's been trying to get me to try. I haven't tried it yet. Sorry, uh, Tomas. But it, it is very interesting to me. BitMessage. Uh, BitMessage, I believe, is kind of based off of some of the same ideas as Bitcoin. And it's basically meant to, it's peer-to-peer. -peer, it's meant to serve uh, for communications, kind of like an email replacement. Uh, it is available for Windows. And I think there might be an OS X version available soon, an OS X. Um, as well as Android. So give that a try out, you know. Um, you know, as it was in the Art of Liberty podcast that I do with John Tyner. I did that this morning, and we had a special guest on Virgil, who's an IT expert, and uh, he's really quite interesting because he grew up behind the Iron Curtain. Um, we we're talking about the NSA and whatnot. And, uh, you, by the way, you can find that at aymfl.com slash taol. Um, and it was... You know, cryptography and advanced security is not always convenient for people to use. And you're not going to go from NSA guinea pig to a uh, crypto anarchist uh, god overnight. But it's important to start the journey. And uh, it's important to try out Bitcoin and BitMessage little by little. And MeshNet. MeshNet is a free open source project that aims to provide robust network access in the face of deliberate attempts by authorities to restrict internet access and censor online speech. So it's like, a, like an internet that's outside the control of governments that we need. So this is an interesting article and um, highly recommend it. In other news, uh, it sounds it looks like Alongside Night is going to be out very soon, or it's finished filming. This is uh, Neil Shulman's um, 1979 novel. They're making a movie out of it with Kevin Sorbo. Uh, and it's basically about algorithm. Uh, you can get a copy of the book online for free, but the movie is looking good, and that's going to be out soon. Um, let's see what else that I would like to talk about. Yeah, I think the last thing I'd like to talk about is an article I wrote for my blog, uh, Arm Your Mind for Liberty, um, just a few days ago, less than a week ago called Seven Urgent, Seven Urgent Lessons from Adam Kokesh's Philadelphia Arrest, which happened last month, and he's a customer of ours, and we defended him, um, and we helped him get some pretty amazing results. So basically, here are the lessons, and uh, this, is, this is important. This is important for anyone, anyone who's um, out there beyond kind of a basic stage, uh, who's doing anything, even, even speaking out, because when Adam was arrested and framed on felony charges that carried a maximum eight years in federal prison, he was just speaking at a permitted rally in Philadelphia. Lesson number one, the federal government has unlimited mugging ability. Basically, if they want you, they're going to come and get you, uh, and they can generate any reason they like, and they can frame you. They did it to me in 2010. They did it to Adam in 2013. Uh, you may not be you tomorrow, but you never know. 
Maybe somebody you care about. Uh, lesson number two, you must be unabashedly radical. There's no sense in being a milk toast libertarian. There's no sense in half measures. There's no sense in being afraid because, um, you know, these thugs in the, in the state uh, law enforcement community, they, they sense that. You know, they can tell when you're scared, and that empowers them. It's that simple. And anyway, if you're going to go to jail, why not, you know, why not go for it, you know, like uh, Howard Rourke in uh, Ayn Rand's Fountainhead or John Galt in Ayn Rand's uh, Atlas Shrugged. I mean, go into it like a badass, man. I mean, do it like Adam did last month. Uh, number three, build a platform and a following. Um, you know, we all need to be communication savvy because we have an advantage on the public relations um, playing field. They have all the guns. They have the law on their side. They have the judges in their pockets. They have the politicians. They have the listening posts. They have the corporations by the balls or the corporations have them by the balls, depending on whether you're right or left, respectively. Um, you know, but they're not that good at public relations. Um, for example, last month when we were defending Adam, they, uh, they had Adam, and he wasn't getting out of there. But while uh, I was speaking out for Adam and many others as well, they were gagged. They couldn't talk about it. It was a pending legal case. The judge, the prosecutor, the cops involved, they couldn't talk about it. We have an advantage on the public relations playing field if only we have the will to take advantage of it. <clears throat> uh, number four, lesson number four, prepare yourself for prison. Just get ready for it. It's no fun. It's nasty. It's nasty and it's cold and it's ugly and it's soul crushing uh just get ready for it take up a, a a spiritual practice zen meditation radical christianity christianity uh great minds reading great minds like thoreau gandhi <clears throat> emma goldman emma goldman stuff like that uh chapter sorry lesson number five in the public relations arena we have the advantage when it comes to court cases I already explained that one. And number six, money is a critical component of our struggle. We raised six thousand, more than six thousand dollars for Adam Kokesh's legal defense in just eleven hours while he was inside that federal prison and still facing those uh, felony charges that carried a maximum eight-year sentence in federal prison. Just two days later, his charges were mysteriously dropped, and he was released. Now I can't say exactly what caused that. Only the prosecutor knows that, most likely. But I can't, I know that these people pay attention. I know that these people are reading what's going on. They can't comment, but they're reading. Because I know when I was arrested and framed in 2010 by U.S. Marshals, I know they were watching the videos that I had been making uh, in Philadelphia and New Jersey about um, their, their co-workers at those courthouses. Um, I just know it. I, I, I heard them listening to my videos while I was in lockup. Um, and when I and Jim Babb and I did the We Won't Fly campaign demanding, demanding that the TSA honor basic human dignity at airport checkpoints, uh, TSA members, TSA employees commented negatively on WeWon'tFly.com. I know this because I record the IP address of where people are commenting from, and it clearly said that, that it was inside the Department of Homeland Security that these comments were coming from. So these people are human beings just like us. They are paying attention. They pay attention to what we do. If we re react with firmness and with um, decisive action, uh, and if we show our power, unified power, um, it's going to have an impact. It's going to have an impact. And the last one is your lesson number seven. Your active participation is required. Because if we let each other hang out to dry at our most vulnerable moments, well, they're just going to pick us off one by one. It's that simple. It's that simple. What was it Benjamin Franklin said? Um, if we don't hang together, 
we will surely hang separately. Yeah, if we don't stick together, they're gonna hang us each one, one by one. Whichever leader pops up, whichever personality, when I was recording them, Adam last month, whoever, they're just gonna pick you up because you're all by yourself. Well, anyway, that wraps up the Shield Mutual update for this week. Uh, if you please leave a comment below the video or on my blog, let me know what you think. Shoot me any questions you got, and have a great day. Get protected today at shieldmutual.com. <laughs>